YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm going to take two areas that I love dabbling in. We're going to refinish a piece of furniture and we're also going to do a DIY home improvement project. We're going to bring them together. What am I talking about? We are going to repurpose an old piece of furniture into a bathroom vanity. Now, I have been wanting to do this for years. This is before I even had a home. So now that I have a home, I've had one for about three years, I am so excited to remove this run-of-the-mill big box store vanity that I have right now in my bathroom and make it more personalized and add some charm to my bathroom. So we're gonna get on the other side of my workshop. I'm gonna show you what piece I selected to go into my bathroom and we're gonna get right into this. But before we do that, I'm gonna share with you some behind the scenes footage here of my boyfriend removing the old vanity out of my bathroom. He had to be so careful not to damage the wall in my bathroom, trying to remove this thing. Yeah, that, um, that crack is getting bigger and bigger below with the pipe. Just want to let you know that. This right here? Oh, that? Yeah. Am I lifting it up? We're going to repair that with, with mesh. Okay, my boyfriend is still trying to remove this sink. It, it was very stuck to this wall, the adhesive was. And my boyfriend here, he's looking for a tool. He is notorious for losing things while he works on projects. No! I found it. <laughs> it was back behind there. It, it was stuck in the, in the <laughs> sink. How's that? Yeah, it totally came apart from the top, I can see. Okay. Ew, that's gross. It's got gunk. Go. Okay, before we get started on this adventure, I must preface this video by saying I've never done this before ever. I've always wanted it to do it. So this is going to be a learning curve. You're going to see some things and go, okay, why did they do it this way? Why are they going about it that way? Um, and when I say they, my boyfriend is helping me with this project. He doesn't like to talk much on video. He's more of an introvert. I'm obviously I'm very, I'm an extrovert. So obviously I have a YouTube channel. So I'm probably going to be doing all the talking. If you may wonder, why is he so quiet? He just, he's more of an introvert and we're going to respect that. So you're going to see some time-lapse videos in this tutorial, and then you're going to see some live action videos as well. So let's get started. This is the piece that I found on Facebook marketplace. I believe I paid $80 for this and it comes with a fabulous mirror that I'm going to be incorporating in my bathroom vanity. So what I've done so far, what we have done so far in the bathroom, we've repainted the walls. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, we're redoing the closet. I had like a bifold closet door. I cannot stand those, so we removed those. We're putting a new shelving in the bathroom closet, and then we're revamping this whole vanity section. So I got this piece on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I made sure the dimensions are gonna work. So if you are going to be repurposing a piece of furniture, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. Obviously height is so important when it comes to your vanity, okay? Also you need to think about the height of the sink you're going to be putting into this piece of furniture. There are so many different types of sinks. I'm learning this. A vessel sink, like a bowl sink, is one that sits on top. Uh, you can have a partially drop-in type of sink. That's the one I've selected where there's some of it, like two or three inches that's gonna be sitting on top of the piece of furniture, and then some of it's gonna be dropped in below. And then you have other sinks that are completely dropped in to the piece of furniture, and you just have a little bit of the lip of the sink coming up um, over the top of the piece of furniture. So there's a lot of things you need to kind of think before you jump in and do this, like selecting a piece of furniture, which one's going to work width-wise, depth-wise, when you get a faucet going here, you wanna make sure you got enough room to place the sink, that it's going to be usable. You need to be thinking about what type of bathroom is this? Is, is, that, is this a guest bathroom? Not many people will be using it. Is, your, is it your personal bathroom like me? I'm gonna be using it multiple times a day. This is really important. Is it going to be in a children's bathroom? 
Really think about safety. If you're gonna get a vessel sink, like a bowl sink, will kids be grabbing at it, trying to get up to use the sink? Like, keep in mind those questions. And when you're starting to plan your project, you wanna be thinking about what type of sink you're gonna be using, what use is this bathroom, and then the type of furniture you're gonna be putting in there. Will it work for the space? Will it work height-wise? I wanna just add to this as well. If you get a vessel sink that sits on top, a lot of people make the mistake, and maybe you've used a bathroom like this, you use the sink and either, either it's too high up and it feels uncomfortable and awkward, or it might be too low. So keep that in mind when you're designing your repurposed vanity. Some pieces, if you put a vessel sink and it makes the piece higher, you might have to cut off a portion of the legs. I don't wanna do that, that's extra work. So that's why I opted for a sink that's kind of like a half drop-in, half a vessel sink, so I wouldn't have to do that. If I ended up going with a bowl sink, which I noticed a lot of them sit five and a half to six inches on top here, I'm a taller gal, maybe not that big of a deal, but it still would be kind of awkward for me to use it. So that's why I opted for the sink that sets in a little bit so it'll be more natural what I'm used to already. So those are all the things you need to think about before you start this project and we're gonna get right into it. I forgot one very important part here, storage also. This is going to determine what kind of sink style also that you'll wanna be placing in your repurposed uh, vanity. So. When you select a sink, the more obviously that it sits into the piece of furniture, the more drawer space you're gonna lose. So you need to think about that as well. Do you already have ample storage in your bathroom? Do you have a closet? Do you have a linen closet? Or do you wanna utilize every single drawer as is? I would say the easiest style to do if you're gonna be repurposing a piece of furniture into a bathroom vanity is to get yourself a vessel sink. The vessel sink sits on top. It's just a single hole down the center of it or maybe you wanna offset it and put it over here. This all depends on your plumbing, where it's located, but that way you won't lose your, um, your drawer space if you wanna use it for storage. The fact that my sink that I chose is gonna sit down a little bit into my piece of furniture, I am gonna lose some of the storage in these top drawers. Now, will I be able to manipulate these drawers so I can use some of the space? I might be able to. So I might be able to cut here and make them half drawers and then just slide the back portion up to where I cut it. So you might have to do some manipulation with the drawers if you want to have a sink that sits in partially or all the way. So also keep that in mind as well. Just wanted to point that out. So my guess is we're gonna have to cut everything from, you know, like from... The height of that white pipe? Yeah, I think this is the highest we have to go. With cutting. Cutting out. up. Mm -hmm. You know, I think probably this be safe. Everything from here. Oh, for the both those two little pipes right there too? Mm-hmm. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right, so I'll just put X's on them. So we're gonna cut from the width of this one to the width of that one. Yeah. Plus the height of this one. Because that looks like that's low. So I would say, like, if I were to cut uh, from the bottom mm -hmm. all the way up to yep. here and, over. and all the way down here, that gets this up against the wall. That doesn't deal with the drawers or anything, right? Yep. So now I guess here it. are the two power tools we'll need to cut the back of the dresser with. Let's once again look at the back of the dresser here. This is where we marked the height where we'll have to cut and the width. And obviously we're gonna go all the way down and how it will line up with the plumbing that is already there. Now I realize
realize some of you are going to be like, why in the world are you cutting upstairs in the bathroom and throwing sawdust everywhere? Well, there's a reason for this. My workshop's in my basement, and it's kind of a booger to get this thing up and down the stairs. So we said, forget about it. We're just going to do it in the bathroom. I will clean it up with the shop vac that you see right there. And we just cut it there. That way we could match it up with the plumbing and just make sure everything was cut correctly. Okay, the big moment. Woohoo! Look at that. It fits. Now, after looking at it, we maybe cut it a tad bit wide, and we didn't probably have to go that high, but we wanted to be safe than sorry. So you just watched the video where my boyfriend and I were marking up the back of this dresser where we needed to cut out an ample hole, a space where the plumbing could come through. So you really need to plan that out and think accordingly. So now that that has been cut out, we brought the piece downstairs. I do need to stabilize the back a little bit. I have these slats. So this is an older dresser, probably made in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So now that the slats are a little bit loose, do you see how they're moving there? I'm going to turn the dresser on its head and I'm gonna take some adhesive, some glue, and I'm going to reinforce those areas and hopefully it'll be enough. So you're gonna see me do that now. I also just want to show you the fabulous mirror that goes with this dresser. Hold on. It's super happy. Hold on. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Look at this frame that it's in. And we've already brought the mirror upstairs and it does work with the space. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So the only thing that has me in a little bit of a pickle right now is this is the original mirror, okay? So it's pretty clear right up in here, but it does have some of the damage that starts to occur with an antique mirror. So I have it going on in here where it doesn't make the mirror very clear and that's okay. I kind of like the charm of it, but once I get it cleaned up, I'm on the fence of whether I'm going to keep the original mirror in here or if I will get a more modern mirror to kind of just, just put inside this frame. Maybe not like two size because that would be buco bucks and I'm trying to keep this on a cheaper budget. So I might just find myself like an oval shape or a rectangular shape mirror to put and hang and then put the frame around it. So. Just wanted to show you that's what the mirror looks like it's gorgeous it's gonna work with this so i'm excited Okay, the hole has been cut. Now let's see if the sink fits. You want to hold it from below? So I'll smash my fingers. We're here? Yeah, got it. That's, that's in. That's about as perfect as. Yeah, there's a lot of give. Feet. There's a lot of give, right? Like play, you mean? Yeah. Not really. What do you mean, like inside the hole, like down? No, not really. Huh? No, uh-uh. Wow, that looks good. That looks so good. Well, let's give this way. Okay, hold on a second. Is that mirror still gonna fit? Nope. This is beveled. Nope. It's bulbous. Well, the mirror sits like, hmm. <coughs> Where's the mirror? Right over there. Let's try it. <coughs> I don't think so. No way. No way. Okay. 
can we? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, wait. It moved. It moved. Oh, I moved it. Okay. How much are you up? Seems like quite a. No, no, okay. I think the question is, can we build it up back here? Hold up, can you hold it? Yeah, yeah. That, well, that moved it a bit. We're probably off by, I don't know, we're off by a little bit. Or, well, okay, how much room did we have? to the light, do we not sit it on top of it and just put it, attach it to the wall, but maybe, okay, lift it up for a minute, just like an inch or something, like that. Is that an option too, or no? No. No. But, okay. but we, could, we could cut into this back here. Okay. Pull, pull it back off the, we could, we could trim this whole piece make it conform oh, or, or we can cut this front piece a little bit and wide. have it scooch up a little bit but i just don't want to it fits so well right now we gotta caulk it down i would probably because i didn't we didn't recognize that this thing is curved okay oh what what about this do, do we take that whole this part off or does that no that helps stabilize it right actually we could well, why don't we? Why wouldn't we just cut it, leave this as a decorative piece, but we don't need it back there. Cut it where it sits neck, um, back against the sink. Right, we should mark it. Okay. Want to mark it? Sure. Do you have the mirror? Or do you want me to get it? No, I, I, I can get it. It's right here. But are we are we on this thing? Like, yeah. So, put a black mark. Right here. Yep. Okay. And then over here. We'll cut on the inside of the black. Okay. And remove that portion. Yep. Okay. You got it? Yep. You want me to remove the mirror? I got it. Yep. On this little flexi that goes like there. realize that we're going to have to remove this center piece of tracking for the top drawers in order for the faucet to sit correctly down into the sink and link up to the plumbing. Thank you. All right. Probably should be cut on the outside. Oh. Go ahead. I'm just going to narrate Probably over this. Cut on the outside of the tape just to be perfect. Right? Yep. So we'll cut on the outs. We'll, we'll mark. We'll make sure we're measuring correctly. We'll mark. We'll cut here, here, and here. Okay, I'm not going to have much with these top drawers, but it is what it is. This is how much we're going to have to cut off in order to fit the sink. Okay, now to the sanding part. Let's get this old finish off the top of this vanity. Now, let me tell you, this finish was so hard to remove. I started with 150 grit. Nope. Went down to 120. Mm -mm. It took 80 grit sandpaper to get this stubborn finish off. But I finally was able to get it removed, and it ended up looking really great. Here it comes up next. You're going to see this all cleaned up. And our next steps, we're going to start painting the shell of this dresser. This is always a fun part for me in any refinishing project I'd love to paint. Here I am painting this dresser in jet black. I'm using Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Paint. I ended up applying two coats of this fabulous paint. You don't need a top coat with it and it's super durable. That's why I chose it. And it's just going to make this vanity look super sleek, super modern, and I cannot wait to get this project finished. Okay, let's do a quick check-in on where we're at with the bathroom vanity. Okay, I have applied two coats of my paint on the bottom portion of the vanity. 
This color is called Jet Black. It's by Wise Owl. This is their one hour enamel paint. This is what the can looks like. If you have been following me here on YouTube, you've seen that I've painted many furniture pieces with this line of paint. I absolutely love it. This paint has a built-in top coat. That's why I chose it for this project. This paint is great for kitchen cabinets, front doors, and things that need to withstand high traffic. This bathroom vanity is going to be in a bathroom, obviously. So it's going to be exposed to some humidity. It might get bumped around around the corners. So I needed something super durable. That's why I chose this line of paint. The next steps for me, I need to clean up the top here a little bit. I got some paint along the edges. That's okay. So I need to do one last sand on the top. I need to finish sanding the drawer fronts and then I'm going to apply the top coat. I need to run to Lowe's and get like a marine type top coat. It's like a varnish that a lot of people use with outdoor furniture and boats. So that's the varnish I'm going to get. It seems like it would be the best choice for this. It's going to be the first time I've applied this type of top coat. So this should be interesting, but I'm up for the challenge. So there we are. And you'll see me next applying the top coat. This is the varnish I chose to use on this project. I got it at Lowe's. Let's hope it works. Now, this is the method I use to apply my top coats. This is what I do. It's called the nylon booty method. I've done a YouTube video on it before. You can go like it. But what I simply do is I put a nylon booty over a two inch foam brush and I get flawless results every single time. So I'm just illustrating here what I'm doing and how I do it. So it works for me. It's an amazing technique. I just need you guys to pay attention to how the wood grain on the top of this dresser starts to pop and come alive. This is like my favorite part about applying a top coat. I mean, look at this. Ooh, it's, it's just gorgeous. Oh, I love this. If you're a woodworker, you know what I mean. This gets me excited, gets me giddy. When you start to see that wood come alive and that natural beauty just being enhanced. Oh, I chose the right top coat. I'll tell you that much. Okay, here's what the varnish top coat looks like close up after one coat. I will be applying at least at a minimum three coats. And here's what the varnish looks like with three coats. Can you see it? Do you see how it's built up after each consecutive coat? It looks like glass. I'm telling you, do the nylon booty method. You're gonna get flawless, smooth applications every single time. I also did it on the drawers. I mean, look at this. You could ice skate on the top of this vanity. All right, I'm gonna grab it from the middle. Okay. Okay. You can well, help me lift it up. Okay. Yeah. Maybe when we manipulate it, lift it by the holes, nice. or maybe not. Yeah, you you say that. Well, if you had a measurement, where's the measuring tape? <laughs> we got all the supplies except the measuring tape. Yeah, it's supposed to go three and a half. Yep. Looks damn good, though. Madeline! Measuring tape! Oh, that looks really good. Jump drawer! Please! Oh, no, it's up high. It's up high. Okay. Like, I think I gotta go back. Look, look, look here. Ready? Yep. Get it set down a little more. A little more, yeah. Go back. Better. Way better. That's the sweet spot. Yeah, that's yep. no spot back there, though. I'm coming back. Still laying down? Yep, still laying down. Let me see the measuring tape. I took pictures of it. Yeah, three and an eighth. What do you got? Three and an eighth, three and an eighth? Three and an eighth, three and an eighth. I can check. Oh. It's a 
a little wonky right here, but. So if you did three and a half, if it needed, if we think it's three and a half, then it does have to go back to where you were. And I said initially that was the sweet spot. Why'd you bring it forward again? It was not enough space yeah, back here. Nothing oh, nothing back, back there. Okay. So I. Oh, that feels. There it is. There it is. No, no wonkiness. Okay. Three and an eighth. Maybe it was three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. Okay. This was like four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Okay. Get it in here. I'm not gonna be able to read my system. It's okay. That looks pretty freaking good. For for how so, it yeah. fits. Yeah. We're not so sealing you, anything. You want to. Um, Wait, don't we have to take that apart and fish it through yeah. and thread it from the top? Yeah. Well, that should be good here. Do you see it? Yep. It's grabbing. It's on. It is? Yep. Let me just tighten it up a little bit. Got it. Okay. Well, that's good enough for us to. It's good enough for us to sort of get a gauge. Sharpie. Um, I think this is as high as we should go. Yeah. So we probably have to cut it like right here. So we should put a black mark here and then boy that is just not that is just not much of a turn. Swing over. Right? Well, okay, I think you should go higher. I think you need to take more of the solid off. That way this I mean. is more flexy. This is where this is. Yeah, but I, I need a throat here to hold on to. I'm aware of that, but I'm saying you were like cut right here. And I don't think it gives enough to be flexy to move this to join over there. on the tube so right. yeah. like right there I mean that's as high yeah. as it could go but we, you're right we have to cut it maybe that that blue part yeah like somewhere like right here where's the measuring tape James those words dude right here it was right next to you so from this part right there, down two and a half. So if we if we get this piece, anything below two and a half, we cut off mm -hmm. from that ridge. Yeah, because then you need this part right here to be flexible to go yeah, there. Yeah, it's gonna be a quick jaunt. So. So do we need a sharpie? Yeah, mark it like right here. Okay. Two and a half. Two and a half. It'd be nice to have light in here. choking it out here yeah I mean just so it doesn't fall off I think underneath this rim is the best spot because so it'll slip off the other time nice that's pretty good right yeah okay we'll go tighter wow it's almost a straight shot that's even better 
certainly is, right? Yeah. So we need this coupler, right? This coupler goes on here. And then this one goes over. That's how they do the, the match of the measurements. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how does this get into? So we'll leave this. We we'll leave this one on. Yep. We'll keep that one on. What we're gonna do is cut one of these ribs off. Yep. I don't know which one to cut right now. Yep. If, if we cut this one, we need to be able to squish it up. Squish it up. So if and then anything, this goes on. This goes on. So if anything, we should probably go down a couple. I think so to practice. To air. Yeah. I, I think if we cut this one. You can look at it. Right? Yeah. That might be too much. How about this one? I let's just do this one and we'll You better make sure. I would hate. You want to practice with this one? Yes, okay. I'd rather err on the side of what do I do with that knife. And the sharpie. Knife. Sharpie would be great. Yeah, Sharpie's up on the window. Do you need it? It says cut the rib, right? It says. Do you want me to read the box? It says, what does it say? It says snip the valley, right? I walk through the valley. What's the prayer? I walk through the valley of darkness? No, the shadow. No, shadow of darkness? No, it's no, a... of death. No. That's not a... Not bad for a non-certified plumber. Right? I mean, that's not a crazy turn. That isn't a crazy turn. That's good. I mean, compared to calling a plumber or getting this... That's like a... a what is that? Five hundred dollar job. <laughs> well, they sell those forty fives. Those angles. Yeah, that's too much. We just needed a slight slinky dink to the right. Yep. I think we still have. I think we need to show it we purchased. I don't think that's. So good rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this is on yet. This this one's. Yeah, I think that's okay. You came with a drain? <gasps> How did we know it came with a drain? Can we read the box, maybe? Can we return the other drain? No, because we cut it. Madeline's, Madeline's, Madeline's? Oh, here. Oh, yeah, sure. Whoops. Watch, we're going to have to lift that. We're going to have to lift that duct tape. Okay. Here's the instructions. I hope there's instructions in there because stuff on the floor. What can I do to clean up? Well, let's put, we don't need this. That's part of the adventure. This is hot water. Do you remember which one was hot water? New? Nope. Are they, would it say on there? I'll have to refer back to my photos. Can we do that? It's going to be kind of important. Uh, the original attachments where they were. Yeah, I don't know if it said where. I thought this was hot water. Usually left is hot. Um, where are the other attachments? In the, sweet, no instructions. This connects to these right here this just look these little these little things right here these are quick like here so uh, hot everyone cold, gets a, and then the yep hot cold all right and then and then we'll reuse these we don't need this 
or we use these mm -hmm. for water, Dope, water that. supply. Okay. Seems easy. Executing it. She looks pretty. Yeah, I think we should put them back here, right? Check that connection. Let's make sure that's on there straight. Okay. So we got the main lines hooked up. We just gotta hook them together yeah. with the faucets. And are those gonna fit? Should we double check? Does yeah. that yeah. do those marry each other? Yep. Awesome. All right. So it's basically glue time. Disassemble and glue. Yeah. We should, okay. glue the, we should glue the basin first. Yep. But everything looks great. Everything's hooked up. Yeah. Correctly. It fits. Uh, well, it'd be nice to see it. Yeah. Might be able to get them up. That's going to suck. Now, how did we have to do this? We had to right, shimmy man. from the right. Is this the final paint job? No. Well, I can touch it up. Watch the sink. We knew this. We knew this is why we marked it. Okay, it's okay. So, we should mark it. Can we move over just a little more to the right? right. Okay. So, we probably have to take, I have to take this trim off, right? I think it's best if we do. Or, or do you want it to sitting above? Do you like it above? Then all this water is going to get back here. Okay. So the best bet is to take this trim off. Well, yes. Or we were going to cut it, weren't we? Well, we marked it. But then I painted over it. I don't, it's not, hold the mirror. I'm going to slide it. Oh my God, it's not even going to fit with a cut. You being serious? Yeah, I think it's, we won't. Shit. Oh, wait a minute, let me get it back. Hold on, can you take my glasses off? It'll fit. It'll fit with this trim off. Alright. Here we go. Crossing, okay. Are you done? Am I done? Oh, you watch this. Is this the instructions? <laughs> they wrap here. Slide all over my poly. Okay. I mean, this is just for adherence, right? It's not for. Smear it out with my fingers. No. But go, don't. Should I tell you something? No, maybe? I would maybe put a little bit. That's what I meant. No. That like smearing I it wouldn't. more to go that way. I don't even think we need to do the top and the bottom. I think the sides are fine. None in the back? If you want to, go ahead. Um, it's not going to sit. There's a big open gap there. So am I doing that in vain? Probably. You said to just do it. You were going to do it no matter what. That's not true. I, I think 
think that's good. You got the lid for this? Um, yeah, I do have it. It's really weird. On the left. Okay. Oh, right there. Alright. Just don't let it work for me at home. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm. I think How can I help you? Just let me grab it. How are we doing now? Am I in the hole? Where's the measuring tape? Where's the measuring tape? I don't know, but we were way off on that okay. side. Closer, but back further. Yep. It could shimmy maybe just a little bit to the back. How's that? I mean, it wants to adhere. That's three and eight. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's that little dot. There's that little dot. There's that little dot. Mm -hmm. Is there any, you see any like, any big gaps? Let's do, do this test. Okay. That wasn't fun. You want to scoop up that stuff. How's it look? Fine. I really don't know if it's adhering, do I? I mean, it felt like it was grabbing. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's not doing jack crap in the back. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not. We can't see it, right? Mm. Yeah, because the lip is all okay. way over here. All right. I need a wet wipe. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't move. Silicone around the oh, edge you bet. Too? You betcha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Ready? Yep. Okay. Hold on. Okay. You want me to turn it? Slow on. Oh, stop, stop. What? Do we have a leak? Where did that come from? What do you mean? Yeah, we have a leak. Oh. Where did that come from? Okay, do it again. Okay. As soon as you did the stopper. Stopper. Is the water on? No, I keep turning it on and off for you. Put the water on, please. Turn the water. It's on. Okay. Are you filling the sink up? No. I'm just letting it drain through. There you go. Okay, stop her on. Okay, can you can you tell me water off or water on? Keep the water on, please. Okay. Stop her. Okay, drain. Stop her up. Okay. Okay. Big, big, big effing surprise right here, right? Yeah. Drained, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Got a leak. Okay. Let me turn the water on. Okay. Any leaks up here? Nope. Okay. Go ahead with cold. I don't like the way this is. 
just sitting there. Is that full blast time? No. Go full blast. Okay, plug up the plugger. Okay, undo the plugger. Is that gasket? Okay, shut the water off. Going hot. Okay, plugger. Oh, what is that? What is that? Okay, now plug this. Yep, it wants to... What's the drain right here? What's, okay, shut it off, honey. Yep, look at that. Yep. We got a bad seal there. I don't know. I think it's an extra... I think that water is hitting that lip. I'll tell you where I think it's where it's going wrong for us. I think it's, it's hitting all the right here. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, do we go up a notch? Do we? Mm. Let's take this off. Do we clean this up? You need a good pair of scissors, don't you? <laughs> and why don't we have a good pair of scissors? Yeah, I don't know. Don't you think it's here? What I wanted to do was be like, okay, MF, or I'll shove it in there. But I'm not going to be able to do that. I think you need to get a better cut. I do too. That's so, yeah, I need a pair of scissors. Hmm. So we can, like. We have no scissors at all. You do have scissors, but not the really, really sharp ones. Alright, let's be smart. You don't need to go all the ER today. I'm not going to the ER today. No, I don't think I have crazy hair. I have a small pair. Yeah, okay. Sure. I don't need them. Yeah. Do you agree? Hot water because I'm leaning that way. Okay. Hot water. There Game is, on. There is a nail right there, though. Oh, oh I guess it was on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Game on. Game on. Is it the black connector or the blue one? Or don't it's we the know? blue one. It's the blue one. I think it's the blue one. Yeah. I think. Think of it. Okay, I'm yep. Oh, here it comes again. Yep. It's the blue. It is definitely, I can see it coming through the blue.
Covers tape. We should silicone it. But then there's no going back if we silicone it. Let's do plumber's tape. Because we're like almost done. We're almost done. That's why. And because this needs to be in there. But it won't stay in there. Am I crushing it too hard? I wouldn't think so. doing is draining. I feel that I actually need to get some get a close my call that's a sec. Water? Yeah, this time. Fill up the sink, please. Fill up the sink, Bob. Can we fill it again more? Yeah, there. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything either. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared yeah. to celebrate. <laughs> I don't know. Wanna go full blast? Yeah. Go both, go both sinks, fill her up. And by the way, we should fill up overflow. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, that's full blast. You want me to really fill the sink? Yep. I'm going to do cold water. Why don't you, where's overflow? There. Yeah, let's, hopefully we don't ever need it, but... Times the charm? Yeah, I'm worried about this up here, guys. It's just draining. Maybe there was just a lip right here that. I say don't touch it. I'm not touching it. You get close? Yeah, you want it to overflow? Yeah. In that hole? I do. I'm scared. I know. I'm Get so ready scared. to shut it off. Okay. Yes, Captain. Right? All the Captain, we're about to drown. It's about to sink. Guess we could just splash a little water in there. In that hole. I'm only going to let it do a little bit and okay. turn it off, okay? Yep. It's going to come trickling here. It comes. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. 
coming. It's still going. It's going. All the flow's going. Going down the pipe. Okay. Do you want me to release the stopper? Yes. It's a lot of water. I know, but we should test it, right? Ooh. Are we certified plumbers now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, beef stew time. Yeah, I'm, hungry. I'm hungry. We're done. Okay, we're at the tail end of this project. This next part was relatively easier than I thought it would be. We had to cut the drawers to size. We're losing a lot of storage on these top drawers, but it's okay because the sink looks so good. So we're using a jigsaw to cut basically a large portion of these top drawers. So they'll be able to fit underneath and beside that sink. So you can see how much we're losing here. We're not getting barely anything when it comes to storage, but it's okay. Here we are showing you how we just took a scrap piece of plywood that I had laying around. We cut it to size. We're not only gluing it, but we're also using little nails to finish off the back. It looks like the state of um, New Hampshire a little bit. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's still a drawer, technically. Hell, I'd caulk it. I put a bead of caulking across there. Oh man, that is snug as a. Oh, I just take a little hair off of it. Really? I think it's good. Oh, babe, I don't know. I think it's good. Oh, no. Okay, here's the larger two drawers on the bottom. We had to cut a section out to fit the plumbing, and then we framed it up. You'll see it in the next shots. I'll give you a close-up of what the final product looked like. It actually looks not too bad for our first time cutting drawers and figuring out how to modify them. Okay, here's a close-up of what the finished drawers look like. You can see how much storage we lost on these top drawers, but I still can put something in them. The larger two drawers that are on the bottom, you can see how we framed them up. So if we put things in these drawers, they just won't fall through these Grand Canyon of a hole. And you can see the plumbing back there. So this is nice. I'll put washcloths, extra toilet paper, some you know hygiene products in both these drawers so we didn't lose as much storage as i thought i would on these bottom drawers so i'm pretty happy about that okay drum roll this is what the finished repurposed bathroom vanity looks like i gotta say for a first time project i am pretty impressed with what we were able to do here if we did this again, yeah, there's things that we would do differently, but for a first go around, I think we did quite well, and I am super happy with the results, and I would love to know what you think in the comment section. Here's a before of my bathroom, what it looked like. It was gray, it was boring, it was drab, and this new bathroom has my personality written all over it. I absolutely love this space now. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below this YouTube video and please give it a like if you enjoyed watching this video. Leave us an uplifting comment. We'd love to hear some encouragement for a first time DIYer when it comes to repurposing an old piece of furniture into a bathroom vanity. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. You can also find me on my other social media platforms. I have a Facebook business page under the same name. We'll see you guys real soon.